And this is the kind of pelting rain that we were concerned about. St Stand by. That's some big wind, some big rain, and the rain hurts. Just an intense day for our Fox of the Correspondent, Robert Ray, who mm -hmm. is here in studio with us. Robert, so good to see you. Yes. you guys Not out there in, in person. the elements. Mm -hmm. uh, but my goodness, this storm was incredible. It's lifespan. But of course, as we watched it move right up into the Big Bend, you were right there Every as that the land. landfall came through. It, it is amazing that the, the distance traveled mm -hmm. uh, by Hurricane Debbie and then Tropical Storm Debbie. Phenomenal. And uh, uh, an amazing team uh, that I was with, producer Jared Maloney and photographer Lloyd Alford and yes we indeed we tracked this storm all the way before when it was still just a depression tropical depression uh, Debbie and went uh, started in Fort Myers Beach and moved all the way up into uh, Clearwater Beach in Tampa area you know we weren't sure right where right. the landfall was going to happen was it gonna so, curve was it gonna stay parallel to the coast mm -hmm. exactly and and we weren't sure the strength right so mm -hmm. what we ended up doing is uh, going into Perry, Florida, a little inland, uh, we did not want to experience the storm surge. Right. Uh, that is something that, you know, I always make sure that, that I'm away from yeah. that uh, because it's just deadly. And I don't want to put our team in jeopardy with surge. It's just not worth it. Mm -hmm. So we, we decided to go into Perry where we experienced the northwest quadrant of the eye wall. You know, Mike Seidel was to the south, really where the eye was coming over. Mm -hmm. uh, but we got the fury of the northwest yeah. quadrant of that eye wall and maybe you see yeah, you see you see this video of the rain and all of the winds coming in uh, that morning so 7 a.m we had the landfall yep uh and then we assessed what do we do next and jared maloney and i decided uh, that okay uh you know debbie's gonna head north and so we're gonna follow this but we're gonna head to the atlantic side off of the Gulf, and so we ended up in Jacksonville Beach uh, experiencing those winds and those bands because that's how wide this is, you know? Yeah. And as we were driving, uh, uh, on the road, we, we as wow. you see, you see the debris. Down trees, down power lines. Down trees, down power lines, got on the interstate, the winds are whipping, whiteout conditions because of you know, the big trucks going and the water getting kicked up. Um, so we end up in Jacksonville, we overnight there, and then from there we assessed what was happening as Debbie moved up the coast, right? It was still on land. Right, um, you're watching where it's ultimately, because there was a lot of questions with Debbie, right? Was yes. it going to stall out over land or right. was it going to eventually emerge off the coast? And then from there, could we see restrengthening? How long does it stay in the Atlantic? So I think, you know, that process of you trying to figure out where is the best placement for us to tell that story. Exactly. And so you see, you see the red line. That's the track right mm -hmm. here where it was going. So we're in Jacksonville Beach and we decide, okay, we're going to head up to the Savannah area and Tybee Island. Um, if, if you're not familiar with Savannah, Savannah is a little inland, and you, you know uh, mm -hmm. th that region. And and the Tybee Island is a barrier island, yep. so we went out there to experience that aspect of it. Uh, and at the, that time, Savannah was getting almost a foot of rain. Right. And so as it moved, uh, and we we knew that it was potentially going to go back out into the Atlantic uh, and form and just stall, we decided, okay, so we'll go from there. Tybee Island up uh, the Carolina coast and end up on Carolina Beach, which is just to the south of Wilmington. Mm -hmm. Because we, we knew that the, the, that landfall may occur somewhere around Charleston, right. uh, that's, or, that, or that second uh, uh, landfall when it, when it goes out. Um, and so that's the position we put ourselves in. And the, the outer bands came in, and then we were in North Carolina. You're seeing uh, this video of reporting in North Carolina where there was a tornado in Wilson County. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, one person did lose their life uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, at 2 a.m. is when that tornado occurred, and that's the exact time that Debbie made its second landfall. But those outer bands were so significant and so um, you know wide mm -hmm. that that's what occurred. It's so, far-reaching, those outer bands, and you don't even have to be in the center of the storm to feel the fury of, of tornadoes, flooding rains, because you get those training bands, yeah. that's where you quickly pick up a couple inches of rain in just a short period of time. Very much so, very much so. And so at that point, um, you know, we were watching uh, and, and we just said, okay, well, let's go into uh, Wilmington, uh, North Carolina, and look to see if there's any flash flooding. Thank God there was not. Mm -hmm. And so we continued to move up, and this is uh, the, the morning of, of, of the second landfall. And so we, we end up uh, on that tornado scene and then after that uh, we tracked it up into the mid-atlantic and ended up in washington dc 
where we saw those rains and the fury right. of all those rains. Um, and that was yesterday morning. Uh, as uh, people, commuters, you see this video right now of the winds whipping there and people trying to get to work and uh, some tourists. Remember, it's still summer and uh, there's a lot of families uh, vacationing at this point still. Uh, and yet they were going through all of that. And then monitoring all, all, all of that situation, we left D.C. and unfortunately one of our vehicles hydroplaned. Oh. And, and 360 and went into a ditch. We had to have that towed, uh, and then we consolidated vehicles and mm -hmm. continued to make our way uh, up the Mid Atlantic into the Northeast and monitoring all the scenarios. And uh, eventually, um, you know, we, after many different discussions, uh, we reported in New Jersey yesterday as a line of storms came, came through. through. Yep, and then we uh, made our way here to the uh, Big Apple 